Hello everybody! Alright, what are we doing? Well, look at the title. I know the title makes it so anticlimactic. But I'm going to show you off my latest uh, reptile serpent pet that was surrendered to me. That I rescued. That I decided to take in. It's a ball python. Standard ball python. Female. Um, the owner had said it was female, but I went ahead and sexed it anyways just to... To verify and it is it is a girl uh, her name is Nagini Nagini dinner um, except she doesn't eat people I always like that line uh, and she did so the main reason of surrendering was one is she's four months old but she's huge for for her age so you know the female in this species um, is known to be able is it gets larger than males Right, so we know that. Two, she doesn't act like a ball python. He had gotten her because he wanted a lazy snake. Pretty simple. Except she doesn't ball up. She climbs all over the place. She's always on um, the tree limbs in her enclosure, climbing on things, climbing all over people, all over the place, super active. Which, to me, that's a huge plus because people know ball pythons are some of the friendliest snakes probably one of the easiest um friendliest large snake you can get but he was looking for something that just stayed curled up that he could feed a live rodent to he was feeding her live uh medium to large size mice he said which will work fine because i have a lot of frozen rat pups so we'll see on the weekend if she takes fresh frozen we might need to transition her from live into that we'll see he said he just never he never tried to give her a fresh frozen so we don't know how she'll do um that was one two he said that she would have some trouble shedding when i did get her i didn't make a video right away because i wanted her to calm down you know and become i didn't want to handle her like crazy she had a few spots of stuck shed on her um random spots you know, patches like you've seen a snake where maybe a piece of it ripped and it was just attached. I, I let her soak in lukewarm water for a half hour. Stuff came right off. No problem whatsoever. The second, or excuse me, the third thing was the biggest thing for him. She actually received an injury. He said she cut herself on the bottom of her mouth or I guess on the throat or on the jaw. And, I, and I'll show that to you. So she has a scab there now. I just want to prepare uh, prepare for you guys for this. So I went ahead and I, I did check it out to make sure it's not fungus, mouth rot, um, or stuck shed. And let me get her. She goes back here. And you'll see it is it is completely a scab. It's hard. It's crunchy. Once she soaked, I, I had thought it was a scab anyways by the look. And you'll see the color too. It's brown. And the underneath of her mouth there is nice and white. Um, but I had thought it looked like a scab from my experience, but to make sure, so when she shed, or excuse me, when she soaked, it was nice and soft. I was able to just lift the corner up with a pair of tweezers, not ripping it, not doing any, ripping any skin and verify that there was a wound under there that was healing. So she doesn't need any low trimming applied. This is a common spot where you can sometimes get, um, fungus which could lead to mouth rot it, it's also it's typically not a common spot for stuck shed because this is where the shed would start okay she and she is just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous now let's see the best way to show you that doesn't necessarily need to have her be right side up but let's move my one hand out of the way let's kind of push her back a little bit so i can get her head I don't know how well she's going to cooperate. Oh, you can just see it right there. If I, let me take, I'm going to take her body off and then I'm going to lower her down. That will probably work. Come on down. Okay, back her up. Back up just right there in the, uh, the corner here. She wraps around my tripod which then she's covering the phone so I can't see. Okay, right there. You guys can look. There's that brown spot right there. on her. That is a scab. 
it is mostly healed. The wound underneath is mostly healed as well. Um, so he said she had injured herself there. He wasn't sure how. He was very vague, so I don't know if it was an attack from a mouse that, you know, was fighting back. He was feeding her two mice, two large mice, two medium to large size mice. Let me not misspeak for him. At the same time, putting them both inside her 20-gallon enclosure. So, you know, you don't know, was she attacked? What happened? Was it, did it kick up? Did she just injure herself on uh, the separate, or on the mulch? Did she, you know, did she injure herself in the tree? I don't know. It, the nice thing is that it's healed. Um, so I have her right now in a 20-gallon tank. Um, it's a 20-gallon long tank, actually. And that's just where I'm going to start her in. I've got a larger tank already for her, a full-size tank that she would be able to go in. I have a bunch of spare enclosed screen cages, uh, tall tanks, long tanks, normal fish tanks, things like that. Um, so I didn't want to put her in something too big when I first got her because I wanted to put her in a size that she felt familiar with and a setup that she felt familiar with because the gentleman kept the enclosure. He's going to try a different, uh, a different snake, probably another ball python and hope that she's not active like this. Um, so I've got, uh, her in that 20 gallon long where she'll be probably for, probably until I verify she feeds for the first time for me, whether I have to do a live uh, mouse or rat pup this weekend. Uh, I'll try frozen thawed when I feed all my other reptiles. And then she might be, I might be making a special stop to the local pet store and picking up a, a rat or a mouse, depending on what they have. But um, that's it, guys. I just wanted to show her off. Let you know that I do, people had questioned me, you know, do I have snakes? What do I have? Guys, it's, there's videos coming. You'll see, there's just uh, only so many hours in the day and only so much time to, to film. But that's it. Like I said, she is a, a puppy dog. She is absolutely a puppy dog. So anyone who's scared about getting snakes, you know, look at this. She goes over my hand. She's very hand tame. I would feel very comfortable with her doing anything. Uh, crawling over anyone, which is which is interesting because, you know, she's not skittish being new with me. Although this is, you know, I've had her for a week now, so that's it. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to update you. I wanted to show you what I had going on. Thank you for all the support. Thanks for the subscribers. Uh, everyone who asks me questions and then replies back that I've helped them, uh, I, that's all I'm here. I'm giving you my advice, my options. I'm not the, the law, you know, I'm not the end-all, be-all. I always tell people you can ask multiple experts. You always ask your vet, um, you know, and you get lots of opinions if you need to. But I'm here for definitely for a resource for you guys. All right, that's it. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. See you in another video.